Ladies and gentlemen, before the video even begins, because it is about to be an insane video with a ton of packs, a ton of ultra rares, and steals and deals for Black Friday. I want to say one thing and very quickly, happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching this video and everybody in the Pokemon community in general, you feel me? I hope y'all have a good one. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into the Black Friday sale. What's good everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, guys, the main topic is Pokemon card tins. As you guys can see, we have an Eternatus tin right in front of me, which retails for $19.99. However, y'all already know the yearly Black Friday sale. These Pokemon tins go for half off and you're getting a single tin for only $10 dollars which is a steal because you get four booster packs as well as a coin and other goodies so guys let me go ahead and open up one tin just so you guys know what is actually inside of these tins and you can actually pick them up from target target is the store that does this deal with the tins and you can only get three tins for this deal so if you guys see other tins they are not part of the deal the only tins that you can get for 9.99 is this tin right here the pikachu tin and the ev tin those are the only three tins that are valid for this offer so guys, this is basically what you get inside of one of these tins. The first thing you get is the promo card that belongs to the tin. In this case, it is the Eternatus V promo card, which is an absolutely beautiful Pokemon in general. You also get a code card for the online TCGO, and then you get a total of four booster packs being battle styles, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and Rebel Clash. So I'd say these sets are like 50-50. I don't like these two, but I love Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage. So it's kind of a win, especially when you're getting it for half off. So y'all, now that we got a little opener set up with the star of the show, we got a few packs all ready to go. Let me go ahead and open up an Eevee and a Pikachu tin, and we're basically going to see what they all have to offer and then that's when the real fun begins so give me one quick second a few moments later alrighty guys so here is the eevee v promo card that you get from one of the tins that artwork is absolutely adorable so let's go ahead and put that on the pool pile and then we have the pikachu v that you also get from the tin selection so basically those are the three variants that you can only get in this offer and then obviously you guys get a code card in every single tin and then the packs are obviously the same you get a blaze vivid battle styles and rebel clash aka the face collide of the sword and shield era so guys, we're going to go ahead and crack through all of these packs, but we're not done yet, guys. We're going to open up even more of these tins, but I just want to open up three tins as a little opener before we get into the rest of them. So if you guys are excited, smash that like button right now because this episode is about to be insane in the membrane. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and join the Go Army and welcome and if you guys leave a comment down below y'all already know the drill y'all know exactly what happens so let's go ahead and start with the first booster and let's play a little game while we do this crazy black friday episode the game is how many ultra rares am i going to pull in today's video my guess is 15 ultra rares yeah i know that's a lot of ultra rares but i am confident that we will pull 15 in today's video so let's see first pack we got a sandaconda 
holographic. So we are going to remove the star of the show because that is actually a pool and the Eternatus was given. I don't even know I'm, if I'm even saying that Pokemon's name right. I feel like I am just straight butchering it. So second pack, guys. And we're not going to be doing the pack trick because we have a lot of packs to open up. So we got ourselves the Tornadus holographic. And y'all know how I feel about that legendary right there. One of my all-time favorites from the black and white era. And actually, I love a lot of Pokemon from the black and white era. It's such an underrated set because a lot of people do not appreciate it. But as it gets older, I feel like people are starting to open up to black and white and they basically misjudged it. So guys, can we get our first hit? Let's see. We got a Stoutland V Ultra Rare as our first hit. Literally, our first hit. And it is just a regular V. But at least that means we only need 14 Ultra Rares to mark the goal. Let's see what else, man. Vivid Voltage. We still need that chunky, funky Pikachu. As we get a secret rare Oranguru. Check that out. That is a nice piece. That definitely makes up for the drought that we literally just had in the beginning of this opening. We got ourselves the Golden Forbidden Monkey. Check that out out or orangutan whatever you want to call it it's a monkey species is what i'm trying to say all right that right there is a beautiful pool it is a beautiful pool so let's continue and hopefully we can keep getting bangers like that we are two ultra rares so far so we need 13 to make the goal and as always you guys got to keep every single code card that you see here on the channel every single one i do not keep any literally i don't play the online tcgo and i don't sell them either so let's see darkness ablaze we got the tapu go go so let's go ahead put that on the pool pile and we're almost done with these opener tins and then that's when the real fun begins let's see we got a dust nor holographic so these hollows i'm actually hitting the hollows hard which is kind of alarming because we need Ultra Rares, bro. I don't care if they're regular Vs. We just literally need some Ultra Rares. So we got a Gardevoir and we got an NDD. So this right here is the final pack of these Triple Tins. We got Battle Styles. Come on. We got... Okay, we got the Flapple V Ultra Rare. I will take another Ultra Rare. Let's go ahead and put that on. On the pool pile, so we got three ultra rares out of three tens, counting a secret rare and a ton of holographics. But guys, we picked up a total of 10 tens for this Black Friday sale. And yes, the three tens we opened up do count in the 10, so that means we have seven left. So we're going to go ahead and crack into even more of these tins. And in case you guys are wondering, each target has a limit of five tins per store. So I simply hit up two targets, bought a total of 10 tins. I'm not buying any more. I'm not ordering any online. And there was plenty of tins left. I just wanted to make this video somewhat interesting. One eternity later. Alrighty, y'all, and just like that, several, I'm talking several tens later, we have literally all of these packs left to open up in today's video in hopes of reaching that 15 ultra rare mark. So I'm going to go ahead and split these into two stacks, and let's get it, man. Let's go ahead and continue the show. And I do have a couple code cards. These were basically the ones that were loose in the tins, which is literally only two. For the rest of them, I'm just going to go ahead and post them up on my story on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on my social medias, make sure you are because that's how you get additional free code cards. So guys, let's go ahead and continue the video with this Battle Styles Booster Pack. And also, I have another FYI. You do not get coins from these tins. I literally just 
figured that out like seconds ago because I thought you get a coin in every single tin, but I guess you only get those in the 2499 tins, not the 1999. So let's get it. We got another Tornadus holographic. Okay. Can we please slow down with these hollows, bro? We need a couple more ultra rare bangers. Let's see. We got a Lipard. Okay. Let's move on into some battle styles. And I'm just opening up all of these packs at random. There is literally no specific order. So we got battle styles right here with a rapid strike Urshifu. There we go. We finally got some more ultra rare magic. Moving on into some more vivid voltage, guys. I love this set. I absolutely love this set. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree. But we got some juice. We got a Togekiss VMAX Ultra Rare to add to the pool pile. Let's go, baby. Absolutely love seeing Ultra Rares. I have no idea why, but I don't care if it's like a $1 Ultra Rare, a $2 Ultra Rare. I just absolutely love pulling bangers it gives me good vibes all around don't get me wrong guys do not get me wrong i love i'm talking i love opening up pokemon cards in general like i have fun even though i don't pull a single ultra it's just that when you pull a banger it gives you some sort of feeling of refreshment that your money was well spent especially when you're working hard hours and you're buying pokemon product you at least want to get a pool or two. And yes, I know that you can buy singles. You can buy the cards you want. But some people just like opening up sealed product. So let's continue with the video, guys. And enough chit-chat. We got ourselves a fish as our regular rare. And now we're moving on into the Zard booster pack. All right. Come on, Zard. What can you provide? We got... A Titar Holographic. Okay, we got Mr. Godzilla himself. It's a beautiful card, don't get me wrong, but I own like 1,500 of those Tyranitar Hollows. I'm not gonna lie. So let's see. We got a Snorlax. So obviously, the Sword and Shield era, if it's a green coat, you get absolutely nothing, and this battle styles is going to prove it. Check it out. Check it out, guys. You get nothing in a green code. Thank you, Pokemon. However, if you get a white coat, like this Vivid Voltage pack is going to be, Here we go. like I said, if you get a white coat, you get either a holographic or you get a banger, banger Pokemon card. And in this case, it's a banger. We got a double banger. We got the Rayquaza Amazing Rare, followed by the Pikachu V ultra rare and that right there guys is a double <laughs> banger we're definitely gonna sleeve up the ray ray first because that right there is an amazing rare i honestly forgot those even existed let's put the pikachu first and then the rayquaza so that right there we got two ultra rares in one pack definitely makes up for previous dud packs so let's jump into the Senescorch Booster. And let's see what else we get, man. Let's see what else can we get. And like I said, I know I picked up 10 tins, and it might seem like a lot, but the stores had stock on stock on stock. And on top of that, guys, the store didn't just have these tins. I could have easily gotten Celebrations and what was the new set? Fusion Strike. They had all of that in stock, but I legit just wanted to make a video for these Black Friday tins, and that's it. You feel me? I'm not going to buy any extras. I'm not going to order any online, even though they are ridiculously cheap. I'm going to save it for everybody else, and I got five tins from two different... Why am I doing the pack trick? But anyways, guys, I got five tins from two different targets. I didn't just get them from one single store. So, guys, we got a training court and we got the Rillaboom Full Art. Check that out. This episode is just full of monkeys, is what it seems like. Monkey species, I should say, because they are from different classes. But so far, nobody 
has taken down that secret rare gold card, guys. Is anybody going to take it down? It's a tough one because that right there is a secret rare banger. Why do I keep doing the pack trick? I have no idea why, but let's go ahead and reveal what this is. We got an Entei Holographic. That right there is a beautiful Pokemon, beautiful card all around. We got a Chonkachu pack. We still haven't pulled the Chonkachu secret rare, bro. It is like an impossible card to pull. Let's see. We got a Xerneas Holographic. Okay. We are back to the Holographic streak. Hopefully that does not last for a long time because we're running low on packs themselves. So we got the Ampharos. We got the Rebel Clash. We got the Cinderace. I feel like Cinderace is getting a lot of cards in these Sword and Shield sets. Like it is getting reprinted like crazy, bro. Like there is other Pokemon in the Pokedex that they can use for cards, but they keep rolling out multiple, multiple Cinderace cards, and I have no idea why. I mean, it's a nice Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but come on, Pokemon. There is a huge variety out there. So let's see. Come on. We got another Hollow. We are on a Hollow slump right now. Can it change with the Pika Pack? Come on, Lord Helix. Don't do me dirty. Let's see if Lord Helix does us dirty. Okay! Okay! We got a white code. But let's see if it's a holographic, guys. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Please no. Please no. It's a holographic! Lord Helix has done us dirty. We literally got four hollows in a row, bro. That's insane. That is honestly insane can we get some more ultras bro i don't think at this point we are going to reach the 15 ultra rare mark bro i just don't think we are but hopefully we can get another banger or two come on we got nothing we just got a big fat toad in that pack we got a battle styles pack right here it's a white coat so we might have something in here come on t-tar come on we got a secret rare single strike energy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. We got double secret rare action. But should this energy take down the Oranguru? I feel like it should because this might be more expensive because it's an energy card. Y'all know everybody is using energy cards. So I'm going to go ahead and put it as the star of the show. Now that we finally got an updated star, let's go ahead and see what we got left. We got Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, and Rebel Clash left. Y'all already know, we're going to start things off with Rebel Clash because it's literally the worst set out of the bunch. Come on, we got a Ninetales. Okay, now, out of these two packs, we're going to go ahead and open up Darkness Ablaze because we already pulled the Charizard that's in this pack. However, we have not pulled the Pikachu. Okay, let's see what's in here. We got another hollow, bro. These hollows. I just can't run away from these holographics. So this right here, this Pikachu pack is the final pack of this Black Friday Mountain Tin opening. That was a horrible, horrible title. It's a work in progress. Let's just leave it at that. But this pack right here is the final one that we're going to open up in today's video. Can we get some heat? Can we get some heat, guys? Three, two, and... Thank Here you, Lord Helix! We got a banger. We got a banger. Let's do the pack trick since this is the final pack of Destiny. Whew, I'm nervous. I am nervous. Alrighty, guys. Fighting Energy. Mumu Cheese. Sableye. We got a Spider. We got a uh, Hyena. I think that's what Puchiana is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of stupid when it comes to animals. We got a Charmander. A Lizard. We got a Chatot. A Parrot. A Bird. Something like that. We got a Spider. We got a... Cotton ball, bro. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We got a Wismer. What is Wismer? Is it a bunny? 
I'm pretty sure it's a bunny, but I could be wrong. But guys, the final card in today's video is... I missed that, but let's try again. Is an Aegislash VMAX Ultra Rare, ladies and gentlemen. So it's not a banger banger, but it's a banger, bro. It is a banger. Not one worthy enough to take down the star. But guys, let's go ahead and see what exactly did I pull. Not counting the three promo cards. Well, in this case, 10 promo cards. We're not going to count them at all. Now, let's see how many ultras did we pull. Starting things off with the star of the show. That makes one. This Aegislash makes two. We got a hollow. Three. Come on. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we got 10 ultra rares in today's video, guys. And if you want to count all of the promo cards, we had a total of 20 ultra rares in today's video. But guys, check out all of these hollows. I'm pretty sure we pulled more hollows than ultra rares. And let me prove that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I was right. We literally pulled more hollows than bangers. But I'm not going to lie, guys. I am honestly satisfied with today's opening. We had a variety of pools to choose from. A variety of packs. A variety of tins. And most importantly, these tins were 50% off from Target during the Black Friday sale. Without further ado, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button and let me know if your guesses were correct in the comments down below. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.